Hello everybody, I am Rote Tempo, and I'm back with Yakuza Like a Dragon once again. And well, Jolchen Spark time. <laughs> Just so we can stop a mugging, huh? Alright, let's see. Uh -huh. mm. photobombing a Yakuza hangout, huh? Oh man, a million bucks a shot, huh? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, styled on. <laughs> Here comes the butler with the camera in the hand. Man, call him a bodyguard and a butler, huh? <laughs> oh, nice one, man. Well, come at me then. I got one powerful fist and a dream. <laughs> I wanted to let it play out because I thought they were actually, you know, gonna actually, you know, I actually thought they were gonna have speaking rules. But I guess I should have known. Anyways, here comes the fist of justice. Ooh. All right, come on, hit him with a three piece. Nice! Alright, you know what, I'm, I'm getting tired of your scissors. Here goes the Fist of Justice! Nice! No, real, honestly, I wasn't expecting it to kill. <laughs> I was not expecting that to kill, all honesty. Like, his buddy at level 3 took 2. Yeah, go ahead and remember it. I'll take you to the graves next time. She was gonna take care of that precious camera. A real fist fight between the Omi Alliance and a Tojo clan loyalist. Oh yeah, these picks are go for a fortune. Thanks, Ichiban. Or you know, you'll get yourself decapitated first. I mean, that's always an option. <laughs> oh lord. that guy it was your fault anyway come on get out of here if i see you again i'm gonna beat the shit out of you tough words for a guy who just <laughs> took off screaming <laughs> you better run, Kamulop? it's a local mascot they made to improve kamurocho's image what the hell is a local Go mascot? Oh god, I'm gonna need some details. Remember the internet? It's big now. Use it. Fine. Just tell me what happened to the Arakawa family. And Arakawa-san. You were in that family once upon a time, right? Stop! You gotta know what happened, being a local reporter. I don't believe that Arakawa-san was a traitor. That wasn't who he was! You really want to know why Arakawa did what he did? Because I do have the scoop. I'm not a journalist for nothing. So tell me, when did you get locked up again? 18 years ago. And Arakawa had a son, right? Yeah, a young master. It used to be my job to escort him. I don't know the details, but he was kind of sickly, right? Uh huh. But, but what do you mean, was? Is he better now? He's dead. What? When? How? Huh. Would have been about three years after you went into the slammer. As I recall, his condition got worse. 
There was nothing they could do. Arakawa was pretty fond of him, or so I assume. It was more than being fond of him. Arakawa-san would have died for his son. Maybe the loss changed his perspective on things. Nothing worse than burying your own kid. Yeah. I can't imagine how that must have felt, but... I still don't see how that would make him betray the Tojo clan. You don't? <laughs> Maybe you can't understand, but once you have a child, the rest of your life is over. The kid becomes your life's purpose, you know? So imagine the grief you'd feel if the kid dies. You just keep existing with your life's purpose pulled out from under you. The parents gotta find another reason, any other reason, to keep living. Oh, man. I think maybe his new reason to live became watching the world burn. He wouldn't. Hey, why don't you give me some info now? You really in trouble with the Omi like those thugs said? Yeah. And you shouldn't just be strolling around Kamurocho. You still got business here? If not, I'd get out of town. Huh? I promise, Kasuga! There's nothing left for you in Kamurocho! But... Then where would I go? I mean... I don't know, dude. I'm just saying the Omi are looking for you. So I'd get out of town if I were you. Don't go home. Home? Yeah. The soap land you were born in? That'd be your home, right? Shangri-La. Hey! You're not going there now, are you? Oh, no, don't do it, you moron. They don't probably already me. have, like, a bunch of gang members I'm there. You, kill, you. kill me? <laughs> Let him try. Oh, no, no. Ichi, I know you're not suicidal now, are you? Oh, God. No. No, boy! Oh, you know what? I'm beating these guys up. I, I need to get my emotions out. And unfortunately, they're the first ones I see. Hit this level one with the three pieces. Yummy. You want to know why nobody responded? It's because y'all were marked from death. And nobody wants to join you now. So, keep twiddling that little box cutter like it was a dildo. Because I'm going to tell you what. Eat this three piece. Yeah, shove that in your mouth, why don't you? <laughs> I could help myself. I, I feel nothing. I, I feel nothing for saying that. That is the m <laughs> that is a one liner right there. Uh, uh, more punks to beat up. Good. Go on. Let me see it. Uh, and two newbies. Uh, oh, they actually have names. Oh, how unfortunate. You know what? Level four, you get the dynamite fist. Congratulations, you lift the dynamite fist. Hmm, got that good guard, huh? Well, uh, Matsumoto, uh, three-piece time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Aw, oh, you were useless throughout this entire fight. And you know what? I really need to eat, so, uh, here's the second exploding fist. Alright. Nice. Oh, and there is a victory parlor. You know what? We're gonna eat. And we're gonna eat good. Wait. Oh, there's... Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, maybe not this. Uh, maybe I can lowball it? Wait, hot, actually. Select from menu. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait. This is the one. And then we get... Yep. 
Oh wait, so this would be... Uh... Okay, let's try that again. Oolong C, and then... Te whatever, however you say that. I swear to God, that's... Who's hungry? He says to exactly nobody, the lonely motherfucker. Okay. Well, time to go where the arrow points, for it is now God, and the only God. Uh, wait, can we just take the back... No? No? Uh, okay, so we gotta... Alright, usually I like to head to locations straight ahead. And get out the way! I'm a New Yorker here! Out the way, New Yorker. Or whatever the Japanese version of a... I'm sorry, capitalist Punisher. Yeah, shut up. You wanna know why nobody came? Cause they knew this fist was destined to go into your mouth, right into your stomach, and pull it out. Now eat the exploded fist. <laughs> I can't help myself. I I swear to God, I can't help myself now. Every time I see, oh, they tried to do the phone call. Nobody came. It was just like, you fool. You absolute moron. Don't turn around. Ah, uh, they turned around. Wait, charismatic persuasion. Oh, something that goes as my, you know. Okay, so something that relies on stats and. Oh, looks like you brought some friends. Hell. <laughs> I almost feel bad for you too. Almost. Because, you see, this... This fist... Is for you! And now that your buddy's called you in... Maybe it wasn't you, maybe it wasn't you... You only delayed the inevitable. So... Since you're, frankly... Completely weak... Noda... Here's a knuckle sandwich! I swear, it's a compulsion now. I swear, every time I hear the whole backup thing, I either need to taunt them, taunt them for failing, or taunt them for succeeding, and I don't care which one it is. It's trashed. Never thought I'd outlive Shangri-La. So, is this the last stop on your tour of Kamarocho? Cold. You'd end up here eventually. You again? For real? Unbelievable, isn't it? A neon bright paradise like Kamarocho, and here's this dark, rotting husk. What happened here? Do you know? There was a Tojo clan civil war, and some moron drove a dump truck through the place. Well, no one's come near it ever since. And now. It's a den for lowlifes and thugs. You messed up dudes living there now. I see. I guess I never realized just how long 18 years really is. That's not the Kamarocho you remember. I know that must be shitty. Did you see what they built on Nakamichi Street? What? The new Kamaro police station. Just one more set of prying eyes watching everything in this town. That's because of the 3K plan. Without the Tojo clan throwing their bribes and threats around, the station finally got built. That's why everybody loves our go-getter of a governor. The Kamaro police station is just one of his legacies. <laughs> well, that shit doesn't matter to me anymore. Kasuga, I've been nothing but honest with you. I tried to tell you before, the Tojo clan you know is gone. The Omi Alliance from Kansai invaded, and 
one. They rule this city now. So, do you believe me now? Yes. Then we're making good time. Well, you came around faster than I thought. Huh? I knew you were the kind of guy who has to see shit for himself, and everyone else be damned. So, I had to let you walk around Kamurocho until it all clicked for you. <laughs> and you got there quick. What are you doing? Hmm. Trying to guess everything I do? Making fun of me along the way? Well, I didn't guess everything. I just knew you'd come here. <sighs> Look, man. Once and for all, what the hell do you really want? I want you to help me with my investigation. Huh? Arakawa, your former boss, used the police to crush the Tojo clan. Then he gave Kamurocho to the Omi Alliance on a silver platter. You and I both know you can't buy out the police with just Yakuza pocket change. So my theory is some of that money went directly to Juro Horinouchi, the police commissioner. The police commissioner? Yeah, then I got a bone to pick with that guy. I'd love to see the son of a bitch fired. Oh, so it's personal. Okay, that makes a lot of sense now. now so I don't have a lot of chances to get at him. But one chance I do have is if I go through Masumi Arakawa. And you figure I can help you get to Arakawa-san. Is that it? Congrats. You solved the puzzle. I thought you'd be game because, come on, aren't you dying to know why he turned traitor? But if you don't agree, why don't you tell me? What are you gonna do now, hmm? I want to see Arakawa-san. It's all I thought about in prison. I just want to see him, talk to him. Well, your information. Tonight, Arakawa is bringing some Omi officers to a big meeting with local patriarchs. Really? Not true? Oh, yeah. And we're not talking about a sweet little tea party. No, it's gonna be a show of arms. For Arakawa, it's a critical moment. He needs to show his dominance. How do you know all this? I still have my connections from when I was a detective. Had to grease some hands, of course. Go figure. Well, where's this meeting gonna be? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Well, don't keep us waiting. Show us. Huh, this place again. Oh, it comes back to this place, huh? This little square. And, oh, hey, there's that, I don't know, that Toru character looking things. Check out that restaurant over there. Hey on Tower. Oh, Wait, what? That's, um, oh, have you been there? It's a pretty classy joint. Expensive as hell, though. No, I haven't gone. It's just, uh, Harkawa-san once promised to take me there to eat Peking duck. Right. Oh no. It all this comes Arakawa back to that Arakawa? place. Huh? Wait, what are you saying? It can't be a coincidence that the meeting is going down there. At a place that meant something to me and him. Of course it could be a coincidence. Come back down to Earth, kid. But there aren't many classy restaurants around here. Period. Stands to reason he picked one of the only ones. Hmm? Screw you. It doesn't even matter. What's important is, I can finally talk to him. Okay, first of all, the meeting isn't until tonight. And on top of that, the Omi know you're a Tojo loyalist. If they catch you, then you'll have zero chance of talking to Arakawa. Now, luckily, I have a plan for sneaking in. Unless you wanted to bust through the front door like an idiot. Okay, what kind of plan? <laughs> we both know that's what exactly he was going to do. Literally, this was the exact guy who bust down through the front door. Just like me. Let's split up and meet back here tonight. Here, take this with you. What is this? Oh God. I assume you've seen one before. He's been locked up for 18 years. Why do they make phones so damn complicated? Finally, item gain. Just make sure to pick up when I call you. Whatever. God. New to the pause menu. Smartphone. You can now flick smartphone, take pictures, call a taxi. Okay. So remember, 
we're meeting in this part of Theater Square tonight. Till then, keep a low profile, will you? I promise nothing. What I can promise is there will be a trail of knocked out gang members. Yeah, what would he even do? I mean, sure, you had some... Wait a minute. Hey. Hey, don't I remember this from some... You know, I'm not going to complain too hard. Yo. Like, I go in? Okay, okay, fine. I understand. I, well, not the Japanese, but like... I, I get... Wait. You know, I swear, there, there's like a game thing, and I can't really do anything. Wait, what? Yes. Oh, okay, where, where's the game? Where's the game? I love games. I, I saw the game. I saw the controllers, so I'm assuming there's a game. Maybe it's a big... You know what? I want to see... Okay, so maybe it was a bigger assumption than I thought to actually try and play... Wait, can't... Wait, what? Hold up. What? What? Man, we in the back rooms or something? Uh... Okay, wait. Game's in here. Yo, what's good, man? Easy. Oh, lame! No, I'm not learning how to... You know what? I I'm usually fine with, like, a little bit of mini game. I'm f I am tempted. Oh god. I said But you know what's more tempting? These hands. Punk. Go ahead, call for backup. I want to see more hands be Y'all are just free EXP. As I said, free EXP. Now get hit with the sign, idiot! Alright. Alright, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Don't even try it. Don't try it, stop. Capitalist Punisher, huh? Well, I hear some punishment, you know? Yeah. Don't. Oh, good. They're smart enough not to join you. Good. I mean, yeah, I have to agree with Ichi. Y'all are way too easy to crush. Alright. Alright, I'm just gonna go around this corner. Get out the way. And we're gonna see what's up over here. Alright, wait, is this the spot? Dachi-san's not even here. And I'm sure this is where we're supposed to meet. You really should just sell that business pronto. Don't be sad. Remember what I said? You deal with business the way you do with fish and women. Catch, then release. <laughs> Take pride Ouch. And catch, but then set them free. Any sporting fisherman could tell you that. Okay, but the second thing, though. You want me back at the office? I hope you're joking. I pay you generously to deal with this nonsense. The whole idea behind bringing you on was so that I could enjoy my nights off. Ciao. Wow. Typical. Hey, sorry to bother you when you're busy. What? You seen a burly-looking guy in a blue coat around here? A burly looking guy? Sorry, my friend. Myself, I only pay attention to the ladies. Sure. Jeez. Why don't you simply call this person? Is his phone dead? Oh, that's right. He gave me a smartphone to call him on. Uh, wait. <laughs> you, uh, you, uh, yeah, he really so needed to explain it. You were locked up for 18 years that he should know? Allow me. You'll show me? 
I'll make you the smartest of smartphone users. Hey, there he is! You're not gonna weasel out of it this time, asshole. Shit! The Omi found me. Nico got a new cravat wearing fuckwad. When are you gonna do right by us? And who are you, might I ask? You don't remember us? You sold us that shit property! Ah, that Yakuza, weren't you? The one who bought the deed for a most successful girls' bar. Successful, my ass! It barely makes any money! You need to make this right, you shyster! Ah, now that is strange. It certainly had a high profit margin while I was running it. The joint's in the red every month! Girls keep quitting, not enough customers! I can't even pay the electric bill! <laughs> I dare say you'll have to become better at managing a business. Fuck you say? Uh-uh. This was a crap business when you pawned it off on me. You better buy it back now! <laughs> you are a funny guy. Asshole. Do you even realize you're mocking the Omi Alliance? Give it a rest, you jerk. Say what? This guy was about to teach me to use a smartphone. I get you got Jesus Christ! I mean Hey, wait just a second. That only Oh god. Yeah. I mean they're not wrong. Oh, there was a Tojo loyalist around here? Supposed to look just like this guy. Down to the moppy hair. Asshole. Enough about my hair. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, they type yourself, huh? Something like that. Why don't you stand back, Mr. What was it? <laughs> Nick Akata. Nikolai. I can see that. Will you be fine handling this by yourself? Hell yeah. And you can repay me in smartphone lessons. Sound good? <laughs> Very good. Quit your yapping. <laughs> And if things get ugly, you got nobody to thank but your own hair! I mean, yeah, I agree, but... Yeah, no, I'm not make you uglier than Ichi's hair right now. Pray to God we could get that cut. Wait, but he was level 2? Aw, oh, man. Your buddy's already down. And you're joining him. Bye-bye. Aw, oh, you took the first hit like a champ. How about the second, though? With fear. Snap out of it, man! Good. Overcome your fear and beat him up! That's right. That's right. That's how we do. Hmm. Anyway, to force this into it. Eh, nah, I can't really beam with any items, so here's the fist. Mm. Now lick it. It has your blood on it. Oh, now he's level 5. Great. No, wait, we are already level 5. Oh, it will be more painful if, he, if they get up, of course. I certainly did not. It was raking in millions of yen each month at the time of sale. A wonderful little property. If that's true, why'd you offload it? The riffraff you just beat down were insisting on protection money. <laughs> I didn't want their protection. We were only asking for a measly hundred thou a month, man. You wouldn't even make a dent in what you were pulling in. Yes, I recall it being something like that. So you know what I told them? If you think it's so easy, why don't you try running it? And you sold it to him just to make a point? You bet I did. I, I mean, can you believe their arrogance? A measly hundred thou? I have a number of businesses, and yes, they do bring in hundreds of millions of yen per month. But the reason for that is I know the value of money. It's very difficult for a small business to make a hundred thou. Ah, so you wanted them to learn just how much work goes into it. <laughs> exactly. And I believe now they have definitely learned. Businesses are like women. Do you think having one will be so glamorous? But there's some upkeep involved. You need strategy, you need passion, and you need to work your ass off to make her happy. I so, can't disagree. You know what it takes to make that bar successful? Fuck that, I'm done sinking money into that bottomless pit. Fine. I'll buy it back from you. But for half of what you paid me. 
Fuck you! But fine, take it. I don't care anymore. <sighs> I don't believe I caught your name. Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. Ichiban? That means number one, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a lot to live up to, but you certainly did that tonight. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. And, uh, speaking of help... Yes, you want to learn how to work a smartphone, correct? <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget. Let's get to it. Where's your phone? Alright, I guess we're gonna have a bunch of useless tutorials. I actually feel like I can make use of this Never thing. mind, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. You're welcome. Mayhaps we should keep in touch. When I meet interesting people, I like to think there's a reason why. We can be pen pals. <laughs> uh, if you want. But I got kind of a history, in case you couldn't tell. I got out of prison today. <laughs> that, that sort of thing doesn't bother me. Well, you should probably know. I was charged with murder. Is that so? Oh my, you are interesting. <laughs> and rather blunt, too. You've got more honesty than sense. But I like that. Oh yeah? You yeah, you know what, that describes him perfectly. Have, well, all kinds of baggage. Many of them are caring much more than you. No kidding. I'm starting to think you're shadier than the guys I knew in prison. I mean... <laughs> I mean... Me, that's what a felon thinks. One point for Mr. Number One. I guess so. Fine. I mean... He, I, he, he wasn't wrong saying that. You're not gonna just randomly call me or anything, are you? I just might. You'll find me to be a very persistent man. I don't like how he says that. And how he walks like hey, that hey, after it. Who is that guy? Well, my first pen pal, I guess. Huh? Hey, what took you so long anyway, man? You're the one who set this whole thing up. Oh, I was hungry, so I went and got a beef ball. I ordered an extra large one, and Ooh. it was a struggle. <laughs> Guess I'm getting old. You're both old. Get over it. But here I am, about to sneak into a high-level Omi meeting. Yeah. Well, hope you're ready. Hmm. I mean, I assume I am. I assume I am. Well, next episode, we officially become sewer rats.